Thank you. Good morning, welcome to day four. It is technically, is it 4.30? Almost five o'clock. I think it's probably five o'clock already. I don't even know what time anymore. <laughs> and I forgot my Garmin uh, power cord, so that's gone and done. But day four, headed down to Florida this morning to make up the last part of yesterday that I did not do. And then um, pretty much through Alabama, Alabama. I don't even know where anymore. I'm just following suit. <laughs> I should be all the way up in Kansas today. Thank you. Thank you. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> there she is. I mean, why not? Ooh, I got some crazy helmet hair going on today. Ugh. Okay, we're up at four, technically three, Eastern Central Standard Time. Headed to Florida, headed to Missouri, no, Mississippi? Mississippi, Mississippi next. Mississippi, all the way up to Memphis. I'm so excited to hit Memphis today. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be good. Okay, got a quickie. As far as how I'm feeling, I'm doing okay. If I'm moving, I'm good. The only thing I'm like concerned with is my butt, but not for reasons of just sitting. <laughs> if you're a female, you'll kind of understand this a little bit better, but my monthly BFF friend arrived day one, and so I've been, yeah, sitting on a raw ass days already so I'm over that we are headed up to Memphis I'm so excited so excited this is the reason why I planned the route the way I did is because I've wanted to visit Memphis for so long and I haven't had a chance to Mississippi I am officially halfway through Stop number 24, I'm in Mississippi. And actually these two gentlemen right behind here were, were from Wisconsin and they left mm, right around the same time I frame, frame I did uh, up in the Wausau area, which is kind of cool. <laughs> They're not doing the 48 and 10, but they went through pretty much like 18 states, they said, which is, heck yeah, so father-son duo. But celebrating halfway through, I am headed to Louisiana next. It's hot. 90s. But it is like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which I guess makes sense. I am supposed to head up to Memphis, but then I looked at all the traffic patterns and that I-40 bridge, and it does not look fun for me to be at right now. So I plan on kind of going off script a little bit. I wanted to go to Elvis Presley Boulevard, but honestly, I don't think that's smart for me to do right now. I'm not going through all that traffic just like I did in Atlanta yesterday. So I am going to reroute and go pretty much the other way and then come back down. So hopefully I'm going to hit Arkansas as I go through Missouri. That is the plan. I need to make sure I do that because that's the one state I'm going to miss and have to make sure I get that. And then I'm in Missouri for the night tonight. Whew. Holy cow. Five more hours. Five more hours of this. So far, I think the most entertaining highways have been Louisiana, but not for the purpose of the actual highway. Like, I saw a road kill. <laughs> the best way to say it in alligator form, caught me off guard, completely missed the recording of it. 
and then um, saw somebody's cell phone fly off the truck. I could have almost caught it too. It just went, oh, there it goes. <laughs> and a handful of accidents, which were unfortunate. It looked like nobody was hurt, but still. That was all this morning before lunch. So for me, I'm like, dang. I don't even want to know what the rest of the day holds. But I'm officially halfway through. I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. I know most of the states are in this area and I've got a lot of larger states to complete the next couple days, but oh, it feels good to be halfway there already. So I am in Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee on Elvis Presley Boulevard <sighs> so I'm kind of at a crossroads of where I'm gonna go because it the route I had originally planned has like red backed up traffic and I don't want to do that because it's hot outside when you're not in the shade so the route I'm gonna take is actually 30 minutes longer but mileage is shorter so I think I'm going through like some small towns or whatever I'd rather do that than and head up to Kentucky come back down to hit Arkansas instead of going the other way because like that Mississippi River is just throwing me for a loop right now because I'm either one way or the other way and because of the I-40 bridge it makes things impossible to do so so I might go buy a lottery ticket because there's a lot of people coming in there for those um, and grab something to eat and just get back on the road. I will get there about 30 minutes before, no, 30 minutes after I originally planned, which isn't bad, especially because I left earlier this morning to make up ground from yesterday. So I feel like I'm finally getting to the pace I was supposed to be at. Other than that, we're doing good. It's just hot. I've opened up all the vents on my, including the ones on the bottom. If I'm going about 70, 80, it's not bad but I'm looking forward to when the sun starts going down because it's toasty. And I think it's gonna be even worse the farther east I go. So yeah, okay. Tune in, I'm so excited to be in Memphis. I wish I could stay longer. This is one of the places I wanted to go, but we will see you in Kentucky. This is fantastic. I'm loving this Great River Road. I cannot wait. It's one of my like must do's. And now that I got to ride a portion of it, oh, I'm, this is, it's absolutely something I want to do the whole thing. This is trippy mind game right now. How fast am I going? Oh geez. How fast should I be going? Okay, this is a very deep, River. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nice and easy. At least there's no metal grading, just little metal slots. Oh. Oh, that's so fun. I guess. Proof I was in Missouri. So I am checked into my hotel for tonight. It is 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. I need to take a shower and pretty much go to bed. I haven't looked at my schedule for tomorrow, but I know I need to make up some ground to get to Arkansas because I missed that one backtracking going through uh, Tennessee, but it was worth it. I got to ride a lot of the scenic byway, that Great River Road. Um, in Tennessee and Kentucky and I loved it so for me it was a good change of pace instead of having to do all interstate riding the entire time and then at the end of the night I like timed it out perfectly this is why I didn't really do a lot of a check-in when I was in Kentucky is because the Sun was setting perfectly so I went over the Ohio Bridge and then the Mississippi or Ohio River and then the Mississippi River as well as the sun was setting. So for me, that was the 
icing on the cake of a great day. I don't know, it was nice. Finally getting into a rhythm and getting used to the two, three hour <laughs> um, in between riding, all that stuff. So for me, I got five more days to go. <laughs> Almost halfway through. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Good night, actually. So I was cruising down the interstate and all of a sudden my bike just shuts off. Goes to zero. Like, I've got nothing. I just went through all of 9,000 miles! Yes! I had to stop. I did an iron butt today. <laughs>